Welcome to our section, Developing a Speech Recognition Application Using Python. I'm really excited to get started with this section because it's an interesting topic and it's one of those technologies that we're seeing more and more in our daily lives. We'll start off this section by introducing the Python Speech Recognition Module, which lets us tap into a host of pre-existing speech recognition systems. Then we'll discuss how we can build our own application to recognize spoken language. For our final project, We'll develop a deep learning neural network and we'll train it to convert spoken language audio files into text. We'll also demonstrate some of the ways that we can evaluate its performance. So let's get started with our first topic, the Python Speech Recognition Module. In this video, we're going to introduce the Python Speech Recognition Module. We'll talk about why it may be better to use an existing speech recognition tool rather than creating your own from scratch. We'll show how the Python Speech Recognition Module can be used to connect to a host of powerful speech tools with API support. And finally, we'll implement speech recognition using the Google Speech Recognition Service. The Python Speech Recognition Module is a library for performing speech recognition with support for several engines and APIs, which enables both online and offline speech-to-text capability. The most current version at the time of this recording, Speech Recognition 3.8.1, includes support for CMU Sphinx, Google Speech Recognition, Google Cloud Speech API, WIT.AI, Microsoft Bing Voice Recognition, Houndify API, IBM Speech to Text, and Snowboy Hot Word Detection. For this exercise, you'll need a microphone and we'll also need to install a couple packages. We'll install the Speech Recognition and Pi Audio packages using pip install by typing the following. We'll go ahead and launch the Anaconda prompt, and we'll type pip install speech recognition, and press enter. And once we finish installing that, we'll go ahead and install PyAudio by typing python -m pip install PyAudio. Okay, now that we've installed speech recognition and PyAudio, we're ready to open up a new Jupyter Notebook. As usual, I can do that from the Anaconda prompt by typing Jupyter Notebook and pressing Enter. Now we'll go ahead and press Python 3. Okay, so before we launch into our examples here, it's important to emphasize that building a high-quality speech recognition system from scratch is really difficult. And it's difficult for a variety of reasons. First of all, when people interact with speech recognition systems, we're extremely sensitive to errors, and we don't tolerate mistakes very well. So when it comes to speech recognition, it's not good enough to achieve 80 or 90 or even 95% accuracy. It needs to be much better. This relates somewhat to the next major barrier to producing quality speech recognition tools. Training data. We need a lot of it. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of hours of audio data collected from a large population of different people. This is one of the reasons leaders like Amazon Alexa and Google Home are practically giving away their smart home devices. They want the audio data, and when you interact with these systems, your conversations are being recorded and used as training data to make the speech recognition services perform better. For these reasons, it's often better to take advantage of existing speech recognition systems when we want to incorporate them into our own projects. In this video, we'll demonstrate how we can do that using the Google Speech Recognition Service. Don't worry though, in our next lessons, we'll also show you how to build a deep learning recurrent neural network with long short-term memory, and we can train it to perform some speech recognition tasks. For our first example here, we'll use the Google Speech Recognition tool to transcribe our spoken input. The first step is to collect the audio data using our microphone. We can do that easily with the speech recognition and Pi Audio packages we installed earlier. We'll import speech recognition by typing import speech underscore recognition as sr. And now we can type the next following lines, which help us obtain audio from the microphone and store it to a variable called audio. When we run this little bit of code, it will access our microphone and listen for speech. I'm not going to do it now because I'm already using the microphone to record this video, but you can go ahead and try it for yourself. When we're done speaking, the audio will be saved to a location in your machine's memory so that we can access it later. So let's run it and record a little sample message. We can try something like, this is our first recording, and it was so easy using Python. Give it a try. Next, we'll just need to implement the Google Speech Recognition API. We also want to build in some functionality for error handling, like for instance, if Google's system isn't able to understand the audio, or if the Google service is down. 
First, we define a try command to request the speech recognition output using the Google API and then display the result to our screen. Then, we define exceptions that print error messages to the screen for errors understanding the audio or connecting to Google speech recognition services. We can do that by typing the following. Okay, now that we've written those out, you can go ahead and execute that and give it a try for yourself. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not going to execute that right now because uh, I'm already using the microphone to record this video. And unfortunately, each time I try to use it, it knocks me off of my recording equipment. So go ahead and give it a try. And with these new lines in place, you should be able to catch some of the common errors that you might have. Google Speech Recognition Services is just one of the many APIs that we can access. Keep in mind, there are a host of other ones that we introduced at the beginning of this video. That wraps up our introduction to the Python speech recognition module.